Don't yell at me. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I guess welcome back to myself as well because it's been like a month since I've posted. I'm so sorry. You know, things have just been really busy and I've been working on a lot of secret things and you know, now is the time to jump back into the YouTube thing. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tayluna. We do all sorts of spiritual videos here on my channel. And I am back with something really exciting because it's low-key like a time capsule. I'll show you. So, at the beginning of 20, oops, she blurry. <laughs> at the beginning of 2019, I put together this little intention jar and you basically fill it with all kinds of magical goodies, set your intentions for the year, and then as the year goes on, you add little notes and little memories and things into the jar. And then at the end of the year, you get to open it up and read all the little notes that you wrote and stuff like that and see how your intentions came true. So I'm going to open it for 2019 and share some of the things that I have in here with you. And then we're going to be making a new one together for 2020. So I will leave all of the info down below on where to get all of the items that I'm gonna be using. You can get them from my website. Um, but before we jump into it, I wanted to give you guys a few updates. If you wanna skip, I'll put a little timestamp here in the comments or something. Um, but I have a few updates that I want to share with you, so. Here we go. <laughs> so update number one is that my planner did officially launch over the holiday season. And I'm so freaking excited. It is the 2020 Inner Light Guidance Planner. And basically we use it to set intentions for the year of 2020 and break down those intentions into actual like attainable goals and tasks that you can complete. Um, and I'm super freaking excited. There is the, there is space for you to set intentions every single week, every single Single day every single month whatever floats your boat um, we're gonna be doing live streams every month in my Facebook group so you can set an intention for your month using the planner like what else there's planning with the um, phases of the moon we talk a little bit about your personal year number and numerology and what that means for you so there's all kinds of spiritual things that I jam-packed into this planner and I worked so hard on it and I'm so so proud of it so if you haven't already checked it out I will leave the link below it's tayluna.com slash planner if you want to get your hands on one definitely go ahead and do that soon because I will be getting a shipment in very soon um, and then it'll take a little bit after that to do do another order so if you want yours in January make sure you go and order it right now I will leave the link below so yeah I'm really freaking excited for you guys to see the planners I hope you guys love it as much as I do the second announcement that I have is super exciting I am going to be co-hosting a yoga retreat in Mexico in May I'm so excited! My friend Cher is the teacher and the main host of this whole thing. It is called the Golden Lion Yoga Retreat, so I'll leave all the info below. But it is in May. It is from the 2nd to the 6th, I believe. Um, and we're doing a super freaking rad New Year sale right now. Definitely check it out. It's going to be so much freaking fun. I'm going to be going and doing all the photography for the event. Cher is going to be teaching the yoga and meditation classes. We're going to be going snorkeling. You have a couple dinners that are included. Um, we're gonna be exploring the rooftops. It's on an island. I mean like so much that's gonna be jam-packed into these few days and it is gonna be so much fun and it is going to be like so relaxing and such a reset for your body and I just cannot wait. So I would love to see some of you there. If you want to join us, I will leave the link below and we have that deal going on. Um, it's only 818 to join us on this retreat and that deal ends on January 1st. So make sure you take advantage of it and yeah I hope to see you there I hope to hug some of you and meet you and like get to know you for a week in Mexico what it's gonna be so much fun so now that we finished all of the announcements <laughs> um, let's get into our little DIY for the day so yeah this is my jar that I created it's like a little intention dream jar or whatever you want to call it I need to dump it out on something there's all kinds of stuff in here 
Um, so I'm gonna open it up and show you what's in here and then we're gonna repack it, reset it for the new year together and you can go to the link down below if you wanna grab supplies for yourself. I will include, um, it's gonna be like a little kit so you get the jar, you get um, some herbs, some crystals and then of course you can put your actual paper, like written intentions in there as well. So yeah, I have a bunch of little folded up pieces of paper in here and you can see there's like lavender herbs crystals there's some change all kinds of stuff and then i have like wristbands and stuff from events and things that i've gone to throughout the year come on out at this time come on out So at the beginning of the year, I added all of the herbs and things. I added some change for abundance. I added crystals. I added, there's this little rose petal that I just wrote love on. Throughout the year, I added all these other little pieces. I have, uh, okay, so this is one of my um, wristbands that was in here. I went on a road trip with my mom and one of her friends to go see new kids on the block. If any of you know who they are, I'm gonna die. This wristband is actually just from a few days ago. Haley and I went to um, Selby Gardens in Sarasota to see the Christmas lights, so that was in here. And then the rest are little like notes that I wrote. I welcome peace in place of anxiety. So this is one of the intentions that I set at the beginning of the year. I attract students who are ready for me. This is another intention that I set for myself. Um, and then I have the rest of my little notes that I think are just memories from the year, moments that I really enjoyed and were powerful. This one says, grateful, or Ariel at Sam's, grateful for finding my tribe. So that was a really fun day where we all got together and put up the big Ariel rig and did silks together. So that was a lot of fun, and that's just kind of a taste of what my year was like. Um, so one of my intentions for next year is to definitely be adding more into this jar so when I open it at the end of the year, I have like a flood of memories coming back. So um, let's go ahead and set this up for 2020 if you have your tools with you. Get them out, let's do this together. If you don't yet, you can order them and I'll leave this video up obviously so you can come back and do it with me when you get your materials. So what you're gonna need for this is a little glass jar. Mine is in the shape of a heart. You're gonna need some herbs. I like to use lavender and I also have sage um, left over from like a bunch of bundles and stuff like that so I'm gonna use this. So another thing that I like to add into this, which is completely optional, are crystals. So I picked out a few for this year and this can be totally like up to you based on what you want to manifest or what your intentions are for the year. There's no rules to this really is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> so those are the things that I'm gonna be throwing in there and I'm also going to be using, um, just like last year, some coins for abundance. I even think I'm gonna throw in an international coin. Hold on, let me get it. Okay, I have no idea where this is. Oh, it's from Indonesia, of course it is, because I wanna go to Bali. Isn't that amazing how that just like happens and I didn't plan it, I just grabbed it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a coin from Bali because I really want to travel this year. So, you know, the coin symbolizes abundance, but Indonesia symbolizes travel and where I wanna go. And then I have coins that are just boring and American <laughs> because I want to manifest abundance so we're gonna add some of those um, I have a shell because I'm going to be hosting a retreat in Mexico this year so I want that to go well I'm gonna add that for my retreat and I think that's everything but yeah you can put anything in here that you want so the first thing that we're going to do is sage because we used this last year this is fun because I don't have a lighter. My lighter died on me. I'm gonna use my matches that I have from Natasha, AKA Princess Jasmine. She's my bae, love her. Okay, and we're gonna light our sage. Ooh, that was so intense and fun. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Ooh, okay, so just sage yourself. Setting the intention to release energies that no longer serve you, release anything from 2019 that no longer serves you, 
Yeah, you want it to get all up in that jar. <laughs> releasing all of the energies, setting an intention of just cleansing, clearing, releasing negative energies. It's also a really good idea to cleanse your materials. Now, once we have cleansed everything, is the time to start adding all of your items and setting your intentions. So the first thing I'm gonna add is some lavender. I like to add lavender because it is a very calming herb. It is really good for anxiety and I feel like this year I have made huge, huge leaps towards um, just becoming more comfortable with dealing with my anxiety. I've really started like going out of my comfort zone and not letting my anxiety hold me back and it's really, really nice to be able to do that and know that I'm safe and I'm protected and I'm just fine. So I like to add lavender for for my anxiety and just because it smells good, you know. Ooh, <laughs> it smells like sage, honestly. Okay. Speaking of sage, I'm gonna add a little bit of sage to release any negative energies that may still be lingering from this year and release anything negative that comes in the new year because obviously it's bound to happen. Take our lessons from it and move on. So that's the sage. The next thing I'm gonna do is add my coins for abundance and this can be abundance financially, this can be abundance in, you know, all different kinds of ways abundance in clients or in friends or in love or whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking so setting that intention of abundance for the new year and also adding in my international coin for also abundance but also my intention to travel um indonesia is this coin and i want to go to bali so bad so this will be the year i hope <laughs> setting the intention and then my shell, of course, as I said before, I am hosting a retreat in Mexico this year. So this is my favorite shell pretty much ever. Um, I've never found a real one on my own and I know they have these at the beach that we're gonna be teaching at. So I'm really excited. It's my first retreat. And so, and I live in Florida, you know, I just, in she goes. <laughs> And I'm a water sign, okay? <laughs> I take a lot of lessons from the ocean, so um, adding that intention in here. Next, I'm gonna start adding in my crystals. So I have Venturine. This is for the heart chakra. It is like a really pretty teal, more green than blue kind of teal color, but I also just love the name of it, Aventurine. It reminds me of adventure, which you guys already know I want to travel this year so I just poured a little bit out on my hand and I am putting them into our jar setting the intention to travel for 2020 and also to have an open and healed heart chakra this year was definitely um, I went through a lot of heartache this year I went through a really rough breakup this year um, so hoping to soften my heart a little bit. <laughs> She's hard and cold right now. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> the next one that I'm adding is onyx. I wish I had little chips of tourmaline. That is my favorite stone for protection ever, but onyx does the trick. Um, it is a dark black stone. And also, this is a good stone for um, your root chakra and keeping grounded, which is really important as I set all of these really crazy wild goals for the next year. I want to, remem I want to remind myself to stay grounded all the time and to not lose sight of like reality. I want to keep everything grounded um, and I want to make the right decisions. So I have onyx for grounding and for protection as well. The next stone I'm adding in is citrine. Citrine is for your, honestly, I could say solar plexus and your sacral chakra because it's kind of orangey, um, but definitely more solar plexus, which is all about your, your identity, your personality, what you define yourself as. And also citrine is like the abundance stone. So this is really good for manifesting abundance. And this could also mean an abundance in knowledge of who you are and faith in, in who you are and what your purpose here on earth is because it is solar plexus energy, solar plexus medicine. So that is going into our jar as well. And last but not least, we have magnesite, which is gorgeous. It is like a really teal kind of color 
so I associate this more with the throat chakra and I'm adding these in because one of the lessons that I learned in 2019 is to really speak up for myself and really be comfortable setting boundaries in my friendships and in my family relationships and you know romantic relationships everything under the sun it is so important um, but speaking up for myself because I have anxiety has always been really difficult for me so um, this year really the universe just like forced me to learn these things <laughs> and I'm very grateful for it as much as it was painful and it sucked to go through but I want to keep that energy going into the next year um, it has already changed so much in my life so I'm adding that in there to keep my throat chakra nice and balanced um, and remember to always 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 speak my truth and speak up for myself so those are all of the crystals that I'm adding again you can add whatever crystals you want the last thing now that we have to do is to write out our intentions I'm gonna set you guys can't see okay so I'm gonna set her right there I have my little notepad here so all I'm gonna do now is basically write little little intentions if you will <laughs> on these sticky notes just like I did these, um, I attract students who are ready for me. So just different different little intentions, different little um, affirmations that you want to add into your jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few of those and then I will show you the finished product. Okay. So I just added a couple different little pieces of paper with different intentions on them for the year. And you can honestly continue to add intentions into this as long as you want, you know, up until the new year. Um, and then of course, one of my favorite things to do, you can leave it as is and leave it more as like an intention setting sort of thing and just place in different intentions throughout the year. Or you can take the route that I did and I put my intentions in here at the beginning of the year, but as the year goes on, when I notice things that are in alignment with those intentions, I like to write them down and stick them in there as well. So at the end of the year, I can open it up, I can look at the intentions that I set, and then I can look at the different things that I actually accomplish. And it's, it's a really cool feeling like I just did here, you know? So that is it you guys. That is how to do your own intention jar for the new year. I absolutely love doing stuff like this because you know, we all have a lot of things going on in life that maybe aren't the greatest that you know maybe we wish we had something else instead but it's really important to remember that in order to like attract whatever it is that you want you have to claim it you know you have to like get clear on what it is that you want if you're not happy where you are then where do you want to be or what do you want to do and accomplish and see and feel and who do you want to meet and all those things so it's really important to like actually verbalize and set those intentions and like put that energy out there so you can actually start to call those things in and notice little things that are on that same path that you're trying to go down so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY and I hope you try it out again I will leave all of the supplies in a little package for you down below so you can go ahead and make one of these yourself and if you do I would love to see photos of what you create so you can join us on our Facebook group if you want to just connect with everybody in our community a lot of people share their sacred space photos or like spiritual memes or um, all different kinds of things. So if you want to connect with me and our tribe on a deeper level, make some spiritual friends, you can go ahead and join our Facebook group. I'll leave that link down below as well. Um, and you can always, of course, share them on Instagram. I love seeing your stuff on Instagram. It makes it Monday. So whatever feels good for you, but I would love to connect on all the other platforms. It's hard for me to like actually connect with you guys on YouTube. There's like no messaging or anything like that. So yeah, I would love. That is another intention that I have for the new year is to really, really connect with you guys on a deeper level. Um, so you can do that by joining me on Facebook or Instagram or both or whatever you want. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you are manifesting for the year of 2020 or if you had any lessons or any, I don't know, anything that you manifested in 2019 that was super powerful, lessons that you're going to be carrying into next year. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm sure it will resonate with many of us. I would love to hear from you. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big like and subscribe down below. Become part of our tribe. We are almost at 9K, which is crazy. So thank you so much for your support. I'm so excited to just go on this journey with you again for my announcements from earlier I will leave everything you need to know 
right down there. <laughs> I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video, and it won't be in a month, I promise. <laughs>